Hello Year 8. I'm Miss Smith and I'm here to talk to you about what to expect if you opt to take food preparation and nutrition at GCSE. The course is split into two components and each component is worth 50% of your overall grade. Component 1 focuses on the principles of food preparation and nutrition and will be assessed through a written examination at the end of Year 11. Throughout this component, students will develop their knowledge and understanding of the following areas. In Year 9, students will start by learning about the principles of nutrition, which focuses on the differences between macronutrients and micronutrients, as well as the functions of the nutrients in our bodies and what happens if we lack those nutrients. Alongside the principles of nutrition, students will look at food commodities where students will learn about the value of different commodities in the diet, the origins of each commodity and the features and characteristics of each commodity, including how to store them correctly to avoid food contamination. In Year 10, students will move on to Diet and Good Health, which looks at the energy requirements of individuals, how to plan balanced diets and calculating the energy and nutritional values of recipes, meals and diets. Following on from Diet and Good Health, students will study the science of food, where they will look at the effect of cooking on food and food spoilage. Finally, they will study where food comes from, focusing on food provenance and food production and manufacturing. Throughout both Year 9 and 10, students will learn about the factors affecting food choice, develop recipes and meals, and build on their practical food preparation and cooking skills through practical lessons. Component 2 is a non-exam -exam assessment and will be completed in Year 11. It is split into two tasks and each task will be set by the exam board. The first task is the food investigation task and is worth 15% of the qualification. In this task, students will be required to investigate the working characteristics, functional and chemical properties of ingredients through practical experimentation and record their findings. The second task is the food preparation task and is worth 35% of the qualification. This task summarises and assesses the application of knowledge and understanding in relation to selecting dishes, identifying cooking skills and the execution of practical skills. Students will be required to plan, prepare, cook and present a selection of dish dishes to meet particular requirements such as dietary needs, lifestyle choice or specific context set by the exam board. Alongside their practical work, students will produce a portfolio of evidence which includes documentation related to the selection of dishes, planning and evaluation of final outcomes. Throughout the course, students will get the opportunity to cater for up to 200 guests at our annual Senior Citizens Christmas Party and take part in two national competitions, the Tunnock's Tea Cake Challenge and Springboard's Future Chef Programme. So whether you're interested in a career in hospitality and catering, sports and nutrition, or farming and agriculture, this is the GCSE for you and will set you up in the path to life beyond school.